Looks maxing changed my life. Here's how. Now, before I get into this video, I just want to make this quick disclaimer. When I say looks maxing changed my life, I'm not talking about the cringe worthy version of looks maxing that you've become accustomed to on the internet. The one where you see people taking a hammer to their face or measuring the proportions of their face with measuring tape or rating themselves or other men to the third decimal point. That is not the type of looks maxing that I'm talking about and that is not the type of looks maxing that I would ever, ever promote on this channel or anywhere else in my whole entire life. However, I am a big proponent of looks maxing as a concept, meaning becoming your best version physically. Of course, you wanna become your best version in every aspect of life, but physically speaking, you should try to become the best version of yourself. Why? should you try to become the best version of yourself physically? Well, there are a few reasons why, but the number one reason is you become a more confident person. You become a more confident version of yourself. Now listen, you need to listen very closely because a lot of people make this mistake. What a lot of young men do is they do looks maxing and they allow that to be the primary driver of their confidence. And the problem with this is that looks are a diminishing asset, meaning that over time, you're going to become worse looking. You're going to become worse looking over time. And thus you're going to devalue yourself because the only thing to which you've anchored your self worth will diminish over time. Bearing that in mind, you should not make your confidence contingent on the way that you look. However, you can allow your looks to feed your confidence. And the way that you do that is by becoming confident through the process. In other words, instead of thinking about how looking better makes you more confident, think about how taking care of yourself makes you more confident. Having clear skin will help your confidence, but washing your face every day, doing your skincare routine day in and day out for years on end will make you a very confident person. It will give you the type of confidence that diminishing looks can never take away. It's the confidence of becoming a trustworthy person. Now, confidence is pretty much the master key to any door that you want to unlock in life. For example, dating. Listen, you're not looks maxing to impress other men unless that's the way you swing. And in that case, this still applies to you. Dating is pretty much the ultimate goal of anybody who embarks on a looks maxing journey. You want to look better for the people, the group of people that you are attracted to. And you should, you should try to make yourself as attractive as possible to those people. And I'm here to tell you that it works. I am here to tell you that that stuff works. Listen, growing up, I'm not going to sit here and act like no women ever showed interest in me, but it was few and far in between. We're talking maybe once every other school year, once every three school years, something like that. Okay, it was never a situation where women were just drooling over me or I was a very desirable person. In many ways, I was just invisible to most women. And as a result, I didn't get into my first relationship until I was almost 21 years old. Also didn't lose my virginity until that same age. Once I actually took the action to become better looking around the time I was 19 years old, I saw a very drastic difference. Okay, up until I started doing public interviews on my channel, which by the way, are still all on my channel, you can go and watch them after this video if you want to see how looks maxing changes women's perceptions of you. I didn't think I was a good looking person because I still held myself to the standard of my younger self who quite frankly, wasn't a very good looking person. I was a great kid, but I just wasn't very good looking. But once I started to receive the confirmation from women that I was actually a pretty good looking guy, I gave myself permission to believe that I was good looking. What you'll see if you watch those public interviews is whenever I have women rate me over time, as I did more interviews, they started to give me higher and higher and higher ratings, even though I didn't even look any better. The reason why is because I started to carry myself differently because I had received that validation, but you don't need to wait until you get that validation from women to start seeing yourself that way again. It's going to come through the process of you taking care of yourself, you taking the action day in and day out to achieve the result that you want. And women 
reinforcing that to you is just going to be the cherry on top. That's going to be the extra bonus. The essence of your confidence is going to come from you becoming the person who is willing to take the action to yield the result. And that's what's going to attract women. And because you look better, you will also have that going for you. Now, the next way that looks maxing has benefited me in my life is through this YouTube. Now, listen, if you want to be a content creator, I'm not saying that you have to be a GQ model or anything like that. I'm no GQ model myself. I've never walked a runway a day in my life. But what I will say is that looking good does not hurt your prospects of becoming a successful content creator. As a matter of fact, all it does is help you. Because generally speaking, I'm not saying this is fair or ethical or morally justifiable, but this is just the truth. And facts don't care about feelings. Whenever you look good, people are going to take what you say more seriously. They're going to be more likely to believe what you're saying. Don't kill the messenger. I'm just telling you how it is. Now, here's the thing. When we talk about YouTube, you're not going to click on somebody's video unless you are somehow attracted to the thumbnail. Whenever you see somebody who looks physically attractive, you're more likely to click on their video because subconsciously you believe that because they look attractive, their life must be better. Even though that's not necessarily true, subconsciously that's what you believe. And I know this because when I was younger, I remember I was talking with these people on Omegle and I ended up getting a couple of younger teenage boys, probably 13 years old, give or take. I was 19. And they asked me, hey, you look like you get a lot of girls. How can we get girls? Now, mind you, like I said, at 19, I had never even been in a relationship. I don't even think I had been on a date yet at that point. But because I looked good, because I had invested my time, energy, and money into my appearance, they assumed that I had something worthwhile to say. I didn't have anything to tell them, but if I had something to tell them, I'm sure they would have taken notes because they naturally gave my message that much more credibility. Again, I'm not saying that it's fair. I'm not saying that it's right. That's the way that it is. So looks maxing will not only help you in terms of attracting women or whoever you're attracted to, it'll also help you attract attention, which can then become an audience. Now, here's the interesting thing. A lot of people think, once again, that people who look better have a better life, but that's not always true. And in my case, it most certainly wasn't. Even though it helped me get into the doors that I wanted to get into, I was never able to stay in the room. I was never able to stay in the room because I lacked substance. I lacked substance to myself. It wasn't until I implemented this one habit that I became a man of substance and I became somebody who is capable of keeping people in the room, be it an audience or a woman like my girlfriend. And that thing was no fap. Listen, this is the secret sauce. Most people didn't make it to this point in the video, but you did. So you deserve to know this. Looks Maxing will help you get in the room, but if you wanna stay in the room, you need to quit pornography. You need to quit PMO. PMO meaning pornography, masturbation, orgasm. You need to stop doing that. You need to stop doing it yesterday. But since you can't stop doing it yesterday, you need to stop doing it today. Now, if you are just hopelessly addicted to pornography like I was when I was younger, then I would highly suggest that you click the link in the description to get the free No Fap Relapse Recovery Guide ebook. The ebook will help you overcome your addiction to pornography in 15 minutes. If you click that link right now and you get that book, in the next 15 minutes, you will be free from that addiction. <laughs>